Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to remove this old kitchen faucet and replace it with this one and show you step by step how to install DIY. Stay tuned. Let's open the box together. I want to show you what comes in the box. There's a nice manual and mine is this one in brush gold finish. The manual is very clear. They show you exactly what to do step by step. All I have to do is follow them. These are some spare parts. This is a base plate which I won't use. And here is a, this is the weight for sprayer hose. And this is the nut to secure the faucet in place. I think this faucet is going to be a great addition to my kitchen makeover. It's super cute. I love it. Let me show you the reason I picked this finish because of my cabinet pools are the same so they match now. Okay let's get to work now. First thing first we turn off the water of course. There are two water lines hot and cold. This is my cold line. I'm just gonna turn it off. And this one is my hot line, hot water line. I turned that off too. And now I'm gonna check my faucet, turn it on, drain all the water inside, and put a little container to catch any water coming from these water lines. So I just used my plier to unscrew the water lines from the source. This video is part of a kitchen makeover series that I created. I have a link for you right above for that playlist. You can also find that link at the end. And please hit the like button for me if you get any value out of this video. And leave me a comment if you have any questions. This is the weight for the pullout. I need to unscrew it. If I keep this in, I can't remove the faucet from the, the little hole on the countertop. It won't fit, so that's why I have to remove them. Our next step would be to unscrew this top knot that is holding the faucet down. So all I have to do is take these three screws. We are almost there. I'm going to unscrew this now and that will release the faucet. Then I can take it out. Sorry about the camera angle here. I must have hit it accidentally. I can remove the faucet now. Uh, but something is holding. Um, I think it's just too tight, the hole is too narrow, so I end up cutting a couple of the hoses to make some room, like the sprayer's hose. So now it's going to be easier to come out. All I need to do is a little wiggle, and there, yes, it's out. So I'm not using this faucet again, that's a trash. It's time to put my new faucet in. First, I need to put the guts of this faucet through the hole. Let's see if this is gonna give me any problem. Nope, easily went through. Much better than the old faucet. This is the nut which will hold the faucet in place. First, I'm going to put the steel ga uh, gasket and then the rubber gasket. 
I'm just following the instructions guys. Step by step they tell you what to do very clearly so nothing confusing. Now we will put all these pipes through the hole. They all have to fit through it. I think it's just being in this tight place is a challenge. Installation itself is not that challenging. Like I said, it's the space being tight. And on top of it, I'm trying to film it, guys. I assume you don't have to worry about that part. Trying to film it at the same time is not easy, giving me a little bit uh, bigger challenge than you guys gonna go through if you decide to change your faucet yourself. No need for a tool for this, just uh, hand tighten the nut and done. I'm going to put the weight on the sprayer hose. This one is easier without the uh, screws, it just clips on. Try to keep clear around this hose so it can move uh, easily up and down. Now is the last step, connecting the water lines. My right side is my cold water and the hoses have, will have their labels on them. Blue being cold water and red being hot water. Now use a wrench to tighten the connections, but be sure not to over tighten, which might damage internal parts. It's time to turn the water on. At this point, you're gonna check for any leak, any leakage, any water. If you feel anything, just shut off the valve again and retighten it. Yeah, mine feels all dry. Now is the big reveal. Nothing? Oh, thank God. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm happy. Let's test the sprayer. If it's properly pulling in and out. Yes, that's good too. So what do you think? Me, I'm loving it. It made a big difference. I'm glad I went with this finish. And it also matches my chandelier. Yay! In terms of difficulty, I'm giving 3 out of 5 just because it was a hard place to reach and work with. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!